Hey dollhouse people, Whitney Labrie here, and that tiny Whitney thinks she's so tough. Today I'm going to be actually continuing in part three of the country western room box I've been doing. So if this is your first time joining me, I do have two additional videos on this room box that included how to do the leather for the sofa set and then how to do the cabin walls. So I definitely appreciate you being here. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so so you don't miss any more episodes. And I I say we get to it. So today what I want to do is focus in on this door area because I want to make it look like there is a room beyond this room and to me I think the room off of the living room or den should be a kitchen. So I went online and I found this really cool picture of like this farmhouse kitchen and remember I am doing like a more modern cabin that we would be in today. I'm not trying to replicate something from the 1800s. So I found this really cool kitchen that I really liked. And so what I'm gonna do is I printed it up big enough where I can cut it and make it look like we are looking into the kitchen from the lounge area. So you can see I kind of cut down the picture to fit in the doorway. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue that in. And that's what that looks like once it's all glued in. So it already kind of looks like we're looking into a little farmhouse kitchen from the living room and I think it looks pretty good it has hardwood flooring too so it has a nice flow so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a wire hanger no wire hangers ever well except in this case in this case it's okay to use a wire hanger and this is what I'm gonna use to be the bar that my sliding barn door runs across so the next thing I'm gonna do is take these little hooks here but I'm gonna modify them a little bit so I'm gonna make the ends more of a full hook and not really a loop so that way they will of course slide across that hanger bar the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to install the hooks into the door and the way I did that was I, I took my measurements as to where I wanted them and then I took my exacto knife and I just cut out small grooves so that the metal just lays flat inside the door and it took like two seconds to do that and then I super glued them in now once those are in and nice and glued I want to create a really nice design on the front of the door and so here's kind of my inspiration for this door it's not going to be exact I'm going to base it on what kind of materials I personally have already on hand, but it's going to be very similar. I'm going to use some popsicle sticks. I'm going to use some leftover wood remnants from other projects that I have. And I do want to kind of make it look like more of a reclaimed wood door. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take some of this this actually, this wood here was remnants from a previous project. I used it in a trim in my dollhouse bathroom. And I'm going to take a couple pieces of that and start in on my design. And then for this, I'm just using this regular Gorilla wood glue to glue everything in place. And I'm gonna mix this in and popsicle sticks and do a really nice fun design. That's the end result of the popsicle sticks. Now, one of the things I need to do is, in some cases, some of the popsicle sticks had a little bit of an overhang. So I'm just gonna take my sandpaper and sand it down and make everything nice and even on the edges. And you can see there that it's gonna cover really well. I really do like the design on it. I think it's kind of fun. Now I'm gonna cut down my wire hanger. And I, I went back and forth on what side of the door I wanted this to slide. I figured that it would be better to slide slide toward the stone wall and not toward the outer wall. And I think on the outer wall, what I'm gonna do eventually is maybe hang a picture or some other really fun accessories. So that way you can really see those accessories and then this door will just slide really to the right. Now that I know what size the wire hanger needs to be for my door, I'm gonna measure out some door trim here. That's also gonna help give that kitchen more of a realistic look because it's gonna create a little shadowing around the edging. And now what I wanna do is go ahead and paint this door as well as the trim. The trim is just gonna be painted a regular brown to match the other trim we have in the room. But the door, I'm gonna do a combination of colors that we've already used. So I've got this chestnut color, we've got some gray, we have cocoa here, and I'm gonna add a little bit of sage in it as well. The reason I'm using those colors that we've already used is of course because I want the door to coordinate because it is going to be quite a contrast against the log cabin walls and you're going to see that 
at the end that there's quite a contrast. But once all the other furniture and accessories are in the room, it will actually begin to blend more with everything and it'll feel more cohesive. So that's what that looks like when it's done and I'm just gonna hold it up. You can see quite a contrast there against the log cabin walls. And now it's time to go ahead and put my trim in. So I just wanna make sure that I measure it out. And in this case, I'm not gonna do any fancy cut. I'm just, I'm not gonna do like a picture frame cut. I'm just gonna do easy, easy cuts here. Now the next step of course is going to be to hang that wire over the door and I have these little, these are actually hooks for clothing, but I'm gonna set that rod on top of them and I'm gonna use it almost like a curtain rod. And then I have my bag here of beads and odds and ends and little things to make perfume bottles for dollhouses and all sorts of other fun stuff. And I'm gonna take two cute beads and I'm gonna go ahead and super glue those on to just cap off the end of the rod and make it feel more finished. And then I did add a couple of little extra embellishments. I added a piece of the wire hanger as a, a door slider and a couple pieces left over from my steampunk project as top door embellishments as well. And then go ahead and hang that on the rod and let's see, it slides really well, perfect. All right, so far so good. Again, the fireplace not done. <laughs> I have an idea for that fireplace. I'm gonna work on it next week. I think what I'm gonna do is I am definitely gonna do stone work on that. And I think I'm gonna do foam stones on that. So we'll see. Definitely come back and visit me next time. I have some other fun things that I'm, uh, that I'm gonna be doing for this room that I think that you'll really enjoy. Again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Love to hear from you too. So if you love this video, give me a thumbs up and feel free to comment below. I always love hearing from you guys. And that's it, my friends. Always great spending time with you. I hope you have a great, great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.